We've done quite a lot on the sunroom so far, from painting the walls and floors to adding a projector and all new lighting. Now, it's time to complete this project and add those finishing touches that make all the difference. Hey guys, it's Kayla here. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. And as you can see from that title, we'll be working again in the sunroom today, completing things, finishing it up, and making it look super duper cute. But first, I wanna give a huge shout out to today's sponsor, Maitri. If you haven't heard of them, they are a jewelry company that makes high quality, handcrafted, affordable, and timeless jewelry pieces. And what's super great is that their pieces are for everyday wear. When I tell y'all, I have never had jewelry this nice. So let me just show y'all the pieces that I got and then you can tell me what you think down in the comments. Okay, so first up, we have this really cute ring. Um, it's made with 14 karat gold and diamonds and it's called the Diamonds Open Rings. Next up, let's get into these cute bracelets. I have on the Baby Box chain bracelet and also the Anchor chain bracelet. They're so stinking cute, super dainty, classy, and just simple. Like for everyday wear, this is absolutely amazing and they're made, both of them, out of 14 karat gold. And next, I'd like for us to get into this necklace. This necklace is called the Boyfriend Bold Chain Necklace and it is absolutely adorable. Like, just subtle, cute, pops, makes a statement. I love it. And right now, I'm also rocking the Charlotte Bold Hoops. I don't know about you guys, but I have been into hoops lately. Like, especially the small, like mini ones. I think they're so adorable and cute. So when I saw these on the website, I was like, I don't have any hoops. I have like this really cool texture on them. So I had to get them. And I think they like really complete my look, especially with my afro or my hair, my poof. The gold hoops, they just hit different. And these are made out of gold from May, which makes them even more affordable. So, so cute. I'm going to go ahead and switch up my look a little bit, change my earrings and my necklace to show you the rest of my final pieces. Okay, so I'm back with new earrings and a new necklace. I know these earrings are a little bit bigger, but they're so cute. And they're actually made out of freshwater pearls and gold from May. And when I saw them, I've never seen like pearls within hoop form so i was like i gotta have these because they're different and unique but they're also like so girly and dainty and then i have on this k necklace this is actually called the bold letter pendant necklace and if you guys can see like a little close-up of the texture that is within that letter k it is so so cute so guys, those are all my pieces from Majory. I hope you all check them out. The link will be down below in the description box. And I really do feel like they have something for everybody. I mean, everyday wear, affordable, high quality, handcrafted. You really, you really can't beat that. So let's go ahead and get into the video. Again, I wanna welcome you guys to my channel and to today's video. I'm super excited for this one. And if you're new here, my name is Kayla and on my channel I do a lot of home rental content, home decor, DIY, decorate with me, shop with me, clean with me. Literally all the things revolving my home and a couple days in my life sprinkled in between. So if that's your thing, please be sure to hit that subscribe button. And for all my returning subbies, thank you so much for coming back every week. So as we know, this is the finale video of the sunroom. And I'm starting off right now by painting. Ugh, painting can always be such a chore, but I knew I had to get it done. And in my last video also about the sunroom, I asked you guys whether or not I should paint the door black. And a lot of you said yes. So we were all on the same page with that. I definitely think it was the right way to go. And so that's what I'm tackling right now. Stop. 
So in today's video, you guys, we have a lot to tackle for the sunroom to get the complete transformation that it deserves. So after I finish painting, you guys will see Marcus is going to build the table for me that we talked about in the last video. So that'll be super exciting. Also, I have to decorate, shop a little bit and pick up some last minute decor, grab a couple new plants, hang up the curtains, put the cushions on my new sofa, and I think that's just about it. Yeah, I think that's just about it. So it's a full video today and I hope you guys really enjoy it. First off, can we just talk about how talented Marcus is? And he's always up for a challenge. Um, I was like, babe, you think you could build me a table for the sunroom? He was like, yeah, definitely. Just need the right tools. So you guys saw we bought that uh, machine in the last video and Marcus just went straight to work, honestly. This table came out so, so great and he's gonna have a full detailed video on how he created it on his channel. So make sure you are subscribed to him. His channel will be down in the description box. And y'all see, this was still the same day and he already built pretty much the entire base of the table. Marcus is amazing. So I love it and I think it came out really cute. Later on in the video, we will um, stain it and just decorate it a little bit more. Okay guys, so switching gears just a little bit, I mentioned earlier that I did need to pick up like some last minute decor and pots and just little cutesy things for the sunroom. So here I am at at home. I love this blanket. I've been looking for one like this for so long and they had it for like a really affordable price, especially in comparison to Joanne. So I scooped it up as soon as I could. I was just looking for throw pillows and luckily, um, a lot of the outdoor stuff was on sale, but I didn't end up finding a whole bunch. However, I really love at home and I can't wait to come back here like so we can do a fall shot with me when I tell y'all they have the cutest little items. Um, and so I'm really excited for that. And this is the only pot I ended up getting. It was around $10. All the other ones were just way too expensive for me. You guys down in the comments, please let me know where you go to get like all of your decor. Do you always run to TJ Maxx? Do you always go to Home Goods or Target? What's your go-to spot when you're in need of cute decor? down below which one y'all like the musk aqua or the belgian Next up, we paid a visit to Home Depot. I mean, what's one of these DIY reno home makeover videos without a trip to Home Depot? Am I right or am I right? So I really came here today because I wanted to get a few more plants just to like fill out the space and add a lot more greenery. Um, and I also was hoping to find some pots. I didn't end up finding here, but I did find a lot of cute plants, you guys. Y'all know I'm trying my best to be the best plant mom that I can be. So I have a lot of new babies to take care of. You guys always leave me the best tips down in the comments. So if you have any of these plants that I'm picking up, be sure to give me some tips and tricks. Good. I guess I can't help myself. Would you 
Alrighty, so now that we've gotten all those errands out of the way, it's time to continue working in the sunroom. And so the table at this point was completely built and it was time to bring it in. And when I tell y'all this thing was so heavy, ooh, my body is sore just thinking about it. Um, yeah, it was extremely heavy. And so I was definitely struggling. Marcus, not so much, but um, yeah, so we were finally able to get it in. I know it looks like we did it really quickly. However, in real time, it probably took 30 minutes because I keep I kept needing to like take breaks and stuff like that. So <laughs> this table is it's built to last. It's not going anywhere. It's so sturdy. I love it. And so right now we're just kind of like positioning it, making sure it's in the right spot. And then um, later on in the video, I'm going to stain it. You guys know that in my last video, one of the setbacks was that the those chairs right there, they kind of like scuffed up the paint. So what we did was buy some little felt pads to put underneath so we don't have any more issues with that, just in case. And also we put those underneath the table as well so we can easily slide it if we need to. I was wiping off the couch and that is how much dirt came off. I love a satisfying dirt shot. Um, and now we're just gonna go ahead and stain the table. Today I'm using the stain in the natural color. Um, I have this all throughout my home, like in the kitchen, the shelves and the butcher block, they're all stained and natural. So I just wanted to kind of keep it cohesive. And of course, this stain is my absolute favorite. So I love the way that it ended up turning out. And filled your mind with doubt. You wanna stay chill. And now we're going ahead and adding the curtains. I went ahead and picked up the Belgian kind from at home and these are just really sheer. I wanted to do curtains because honestly, I don't love the way that the mesh looks. So this could kind of like hide it a little bit. Also, I have neighbors and also, it's just for a little bit of privacy, you know, to make everything look a little bit more cohesive. So I think this was the right call to do the curtains, especially until I'm able to like switch out the mesh later on, like within the screens and stuff. And the last thing that I'm gonna do before we officially begin decorating is put the cushions on the couch. If you guys remember, this couch was actually my mom's and the cushions that were on it before were like a red color and they had like a floral pattern all over. And so my mom actually made these cushions for me. She is the absolute best. They look so cute. And I feel like it just looks so much better. I love it. So that's what I'm going ahead and doing now. And then we'll decorate it a little bit more later on. And now for my favorite part, and hopefully everyone else's too, it's time for us to begin decorating. So what I like to do before I start is bring in all the things that I have to use within this space. Even things that like I'm not 100% sure whether, where they might go, I bring it all in so I can see everything. I 
I wanted to start off by decorating the table area because I feel like it really just makes a statement. It's the first thing you most likely will see when you walk through either one of the doors to get into the sunroom. So I just wanted to give it some special attention. I'm using this jute runner from Hobby Lobby and those um, placemats were also from Hobby Lobby. And I'm just making a cute little design for the table. I hope you guys like it. You guys, I am so excited to just sit out here and watch movies and uh, it's just going to be such a great time. And so what I wanted to do over here was just make it a little bit cozier. So I added a table and I'm putting some pillows into the little swinging chairs. Those are also from Hobby Lobby and that table is from Target. I'll try to link everything that I can down below for you guys. I know I bought that table like years ago. So if I can find it, I definitely will. So make sure you check that out. And I'm starting to work over here on this area. To be honest, I wasn't quite sure what I wanted to do here. Originally, um, Marcus and I were gonna like put some shelves up right here and just have like a whole bunch of plants hanging off of it. But then I was like, mm, nah, I really don't wanna do that. So I remembered that I had this rug that I got from the Pottery Barn outlet. And I have this chair also that I bought years ago. So I was like, let me just set up another little seating area. I was afraid that it would be too much, but it actually turned out being perfect. And I added this pillow that Marcus picked out from at home. My most favorite thing to decorate is a sofa. I just, it's just so much fun to me, probably because of like all the pillows that you can add and the textures and the colors and just the coziness that is the sofa. So I'm adding those two big pillows. I got those probably two years ago from Target. They were in my old apartment and I just had them in the closet. I'm so happy I remembered I had them because they went perfectly with like the whole look going on in here. And I added a blanket basket for extra pillows and blankets and stuff. And speaking of blankets, I'm so happy I bought this, y'all. Once I put this on my body, I was like, this is it. I can just see myself cozying up here all winter with a cup of tea. So I'm not going to leave it on the couch. I went ahead and just tucked it into the basket so I can grab it whenever I need it. And so now it's time for us to go ahead and begin repotting all of my plants. I have a confession to make y'all. I usually do not repot. I leave them in the container that they come in and then I just stick that into a pot, which is so, 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 so bad. And that's probably why, another reason why my plants just like don't thrive as well. So I'm, I'm really trying to do better as a plant mom. I went ahead and took most of the plants out. I did not take the cactus out of its original container because I put it in that little basket over there. So I didn't want like the dirt and stuff to spill out because the basket is not lined. So if you guys have any suggestions for that, please let me know. I'm also trimming this baby a little bit because it had a couple of dead leaves. And so y'all, I'm just trying to do my best. And I'm placing all of these like where I think they should go. All right, so now that most of the plants are in their pots and situated in that little area, Marcus and I are going ahead and building this wonderful popcorn machine that my grandma bought for me as a housewarming gift. And yes, I really wanted this. I'm so excited. Next, I really wanna get a cotton candy machine, a snow cone machine, just 
all of the things to make this feel like super fun and magical out here. So shout out to you, mama. Thank you so much. I love it. And I can't wait to um, pop popcorn in here. It's gonna be so amazing. And this room is gonna smell so, so good. So after we finish making the popcorn maker, I'm changing out a couple more pods. I was gonna leave that one in there, but like I said, I'm trying to do better. So I ended up switching it and putting it in that pot that we had got from at home. Okay, and so now Marcus and I are gonna put up these little plant hangers that I got from Marshalls. I've had these for years, and so I really wanted to include them here, and I thought over my little scalloped flower-shaped chair, this would just be the perfect spot. And so, yeah, I just love the way this area turned out. So these are my final two plants that I needed to repot and I ended up putting them in this basket that I got from Amazon and that's going to go right over here by the projector and I put one of those little um, clear trays underneath it just in case you know any dirt spills or water whatever the case may be. And after this, I am going to put a candle down. I got this one from at home and it's, it smells amazing first off, but it's the shape of a pumpkin. So I was like, I gotta have this, it's so cute. Just a small little knot to fall. And the last couple of things that I'm gonna do are add a couple of little twinkle fairy lights all over the place just to make it super magical and cute. I got those off Amazon, so I will definitely link those down below. And I'm gonna place my popcorn machine um, where it needs to go, which is over in the corner by the table. Yeah, I want it. Struggling a little bit with how I wanted like the little fairy twinkle lights to go on the popcorn machine But looking back at the footage, I think it looked really cute inside of the maker as well Oh my it's almost time for the big reveal But of course y'all know we got to throw it all the way back and take a look at what this sunroom used to look like This was when I first bought the house and this was more so recently. It had just become a complete catch-all room. And now for the final reveal.
Okay guys, so let's go ahead and get into this detailed tour of the sunroom. I'm so excited. This table came out so great. Like again, shout out to Marcus. He's He will be posting a full video on his channel about how he made this beautiful thing. It is gorgeous. And it's literally everything that I wanted. And so I just styled it with these beautiful placemats. I wanted to do like a mix between the green and the rest here. And I cannot wait to entertain this runner. While it doesn't stand out so much, I just feel like it adds a little bit more texture. And then of course the tray here is so, so cute. I added a candle in one of these little jars, I guess you can call it. And I'm also keeping my remotes right here too for like all the string lights and the candles. And I'm giving the fiddly fig another try as you guys saw previously. It's been doing so well. Like I've been so impressed with this plant. I'm so happy and I hope it continues to thrive. And so I really just cannot wait to entertain here. The black chairs are perfect. The only thing I would add to this area, like over here by the door, is some sort of doormat. The one that I had, I can't really open the door. Um, and then right here, I also added this little basket and it just has like citronella candles in it. Now these do say outdoor use only, so we'll be working on the patio. That's like our next big project next, which is like right outside of this area. And so I'm thinking I'll keep it here for now. Also, another thing that'll have to be done, when we were bringing the table in, that thing was a beast. We ended up breaking the glass on this door. So if you guys remember like these, like they turn and open out. So that is completely shattered. I don't know what I'm gonna do about that. Y'all leave me y'all suggestions. I might just have to end up getting a whole new door here which wouldn't be bad because, and I say that wouldn't be bad because like all the windows and stuff, I wanna get the mess changed. So that'll be something else that we do like later on down the line or even like new windows here would be great. So that's a future project, but this area I'm obsessed with. Now, I think this is actually my favorite area though. And y'all, please be sure to comment down below and let me know which area is your favorite. I think those look so cute. I actually have two more of them, but hmm, I just wasn't sure if I should add them here or put them somewhere else. And then I wanted to leave room for later on if I wanted to add like artwork here. So that's why it's like that. So I had this chair for a long time. I got it from the flea market. And then I of course put the rug down. This area is just so cute. I can't wait to like sit here and take pictures. It's gonna be adorable. And then right across from this area, we have like the little plant area first and foremost i am obsessed with how this came out like the height the texture of the pots the little um candle holders from five below like it just turned out so so good so i really really love this area it's exactly what I envisioned when I planned it out. I'm sorry guys, it's backlit right now, but y'all have seen like all the views previously. <sighs> y'all, I just gotta get my backyard in order. Coming soon though, coming soon. It won't stay neglected for long. Um, I just have such a big backyard. It's a lot to maintain. But anyway, over here, you do have a view of the backyard and you know, the swinging chairs are just like the perfect touch over here, I feel like. They're just so cute. And so I wanted to add some greenery here, but something that would just be a little bit more low maintenance and something I could easily move out of the way just in case we need to back this up for the projector. And then of course a fall candle because fall is here. I'm already ready for fall. I added these poofs, I got those from Ghana. And that's just like extra seating if someone ever wants to sit on the floor, they can. My mom did such a great job with the couch. I love it. Those two pillows I had for a long time and those two pillows I bought last year. And this is just like the cozy area. One thing, if I could change anything or do anything differently, well, we do need one more curtain to go here. 
ran out but i think i would maybe put a coffee table here just so like if i am drinking something i don't just have to like put it down on the rug i could put it you know on the coffee table and that could be another area i could decorate but at the same time i have a coffee table that looks exactly like the frame of the couch and the reason i didn't put it there is because i didn't want the area to get like or feel too cluttered because there is um a good amount of stuff in here i feel like it's all purposeful because this is a sunroom so it should be like cutesy and cozy and and fun and earthy but i think that coffee table might be that piece of functionality that could be missing i mean granted we do have a whole table here eight feet not eight feet but an eight person table here but if I just want to chill over there with my drink and my popcorn, there's no room to put it there. And yeah, maybe I will add that later on. So we definitely will see you guys. But overall, that is the tour of the sunroom. So guys, that brings us to the end of today's video. I hope y'all love the transformation of the sunroom. I know it took a long time, even longer than I was expecting, but I feel like it definitely paid off in the end. It looks absolutely stunning. And it's just amazing how we're going room by room transforming my first home, my little fixer upper. And it just makes me so happy because, you know, having the vision to see this, is like what's so important and you guys have been here with me from day one everybody loved this sunroom a lot of you guys said that this was like the selling feature of the home and i just sat in here last night after i was finished filming and i was like this is absolutely stunning i can't wait to share this with like all my friends and family and of course you guys so thank you for watching i'll see you guys in my next video if you haven't already please be sure to hit that subscribe button please be sure to like be sure to comment because comments really help me so much too even if you drop some hearts down there or something it helps me and um make sure you hit the notification bell because i'll be posting a lot of wednesday videos throughout the month of september i'm really excited like we're getting into like the holiday seasonal content very, very soon here on my channel. And so y'all just keep rocking with me and let's continue having fun and making this house my home. So I'll see you guys later. Bye guys.